Okay, Mel, you got your, your clicker? Yes. Okay, so you ready to go? Yes, sir. Okay, Connor, you know the deal. Are you already doing it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So today my speech is going to be about persuading others to help and donate to Feeding America. According to the USDA, more than 38 million people, including 12 million children in the United States, are in food secure. The pandemic has increased food insecurity among families with children who already face hunger at much higher rates. Therefore, my purpose today is to persuade you to be generous to give food to others in need, volunteer, and donate to Feeding America, a nonprofit organization that helps families, individuals who are in the verge of hunger. I am credible to speak on this topic, for I have done extensive research and, and am interesting and interested in what the research is about. Throughout my presentation, I will inform you of the needs that this organization is trying to fulfill. I will offer you <coughs> a solution that can help improve these needs. Lastly, what will happen if you fail to help others in need and volunteer and donate? To begin my presentation, let us discuss the needs that this organization needs to meet. My first need is food that is nourishment. According to Food, Hope, Stability of Feeding America, the long-term effects of hunger and poor nutrition could be devastating. That is why it's not enough to provide food, provide food for just families. They need a healthy variety of foods, such as fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, low-fat, and lean protein. As well, as we all know, we don't grow with just eating chips and candy. It is important to eat healthy in order for us to grow healthy, strong, and intelligent. That is why it is prior to giving food to others that will build their immune system stronger rather than weak. In addition to food nourishment, a second need is food safety. According to ensuring food safety of Feeding America, in the past, food banks and food pantries often focus on storing non perishable food items like canned and packaged goods. As they work to make sure people in America facing hunger get a, large, a wider variety of healthy foods they need, they also work to keep foods including high, highly perishable items like fresh pro produce and lean protein safe. It is important that food is not expired, rotten, or molded so that others do not get food poisoning. Children need the right nutrition to continue to grow healthy, strong. Eating expired food and not clean and unsanitary food can cause illnesses that can lead to death and sometimes treatments and time. To ensure that individuals and families receive safe food to end hunger one day. Feeding is not only beneficial for providing nourish and safe food, but also the security of food. According to leading the movement to end hunger of America feeding, Feeding America is leading the fight to end hunger in our nation. Not only do we help provide meals to people facing hunger, but we also raise awareness about the issues, advocate on behalf of our neighbors experiencing hunger, and conduct and death research to better understand the problem. Together, we are working to break the cycle of poverty and hunger. Therefore, we need more people to come together. After the pandemic, which was a devastating thing that lasted for three years, we lost jobs, salaries were deducted, and others didn't have money to, pay, to buy necessary things, leaving them to become homeless. Let's see how helping others in need volunteers and donating to Feeding America can help those who are suffering today. Feeding America's mission is to advance changes in America by ensuring equitable access to nutritious food for all in partnership with food banks, policymakers, supporters, and the community they serve. They keep people from dying in hunger, have something to eat every day, and never go to sleep knowing whether or not if they're going to eat tomorrow or the days after that. It works to meet current needs, but they could not continue to do to do it without the help of volunteers like us and kind donations. If we are able to prevent people
people from starving to death, help those in poverty, and from living a day in their life. We never know what someone else is going through until we step into their shoes. If you got into a sticky situation, wouldn't you want someone to help you? And right here is how to volunteer and do donate today. There are quick, easy steps. You can go to the website, click sign up on the top right corner, enter your email address, and subscribe. To donate, you go to the far right corner, and there are two choices. If you like to donate today, donate monthly, and then fill out the following information and submit. If we fail to act and do not begin to offer a lending hand in need, people will suffer every day and live an unhappy life. Having to live in hunger all the time or eating unsanitary food from the floor, trash can, and more is not healthy nor safe. Those people are left homeless in despair as they wait to find food or even crumb tea after hours, days, or even weeks without even eating. Furthermore, unsafe food can cause illnesses that can lead to death or hospital treatment, which those who are hospitalized are in burden for not having enough money to pay for their treatment. However, if you choose to volunteer, donate, and more, you can do your part of providing food to individuals and families in need of help. Such as, if you give nourishing food that will help them become healthy, and children will grow stronger, have no more growth rate, and be intelligent. Additionally, giving safe, healthy food that does not expire in a while, not, nothing could be more important than that. Also, all of us, given from others, can someday end the hunger of the others in need. As we come to the end, I want to remind you about the things I said in the beginning the needs that this organization wants to fulfill and how we can help them, and the volunteer and donation and how they can one day end hunger today's world. Hopefully I persuade you to give your time to donate and volunteer to Feeding America. Do your part to help those 50 million individuals from starving from hunger, despair on the streets or wherever they are. If you can see right here, the outcome is, if we sit back and do nothing, the poor children are going to starve to death like other adults. And if we do something, children will grow more healthy and happier. The difference one can make by starting off by giving just a can of food. Don't hesitate or wait. Please help those in need today. You can call that number or visit the website. And a quote that I found from Regis Murray, Part of being a person is about helping others. I hope that y'all give it a lot of thought and will donate or volunteer to Feeding America.